This game was, I first played it on the, on the stickpage.com. It was fresh, it was weird, it was really hard. Today we're gonna do a bit of a, a bit of an N++ challenge. We're gonna just do, honestly, this is just gonna be a deaths compilation. Start the deaths compilation. Oh, oh, oh! What? What? What was that? Okay, okay, all right, we're gonna get out of that area. Jesus! But if you want an extra challenge, you just, you go for the extra gold. You get that tasty gold and sometimes it works. Oh, come on, 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 come on. Yes, yes, yes. No, nope. I couldn't get the remaining gold. Now you might be thinking to yourself, God, David isn't even that good at this game. Clearly he's not even played through all of the A series and you would be right because I have other things to do with my time. I have videos to edit like this one. <laughs> I'm editing it right now. Look, this is a video of me editing the video. What's nice about all of the cha- uh -huh. What's nice about all the challenges in Endgame is that they feel fair. They feel very simplistic, and they all have understandable goals and understandable obstacles. I think one of the keys to having satisfying challenges in a game is understandable goals. The other neat thing about Endgame is the gold system. If you want, you can try to collect all the gold and then you can get a bit of a neat icon. If you want, you can try to get a nice little gold icon next to the levels that you get 100%, or you can just use it to extend the time that you have to complete a level. And in cases like this, where it's almost completely impractical, imp fuck! And in cases like this, where it's almost completely impractical for the player to get all the gold in a level, they're left with a choice. Do they exponentially increase the challenge in the level that they're playing, or do they just try to breeze through it and have a good time, as opposed to just sitting there trying to figure their way through a minefield of ridiculous challenge! Endgame! The choices are yours. In N++, you also have a wonderful variety of enemies. Like here, you have the Giblios. And here, you have mines. And way up here in the corner, you have shadow boxers. Come on, shadow boxers. Let's go down the wall. Look at all them. Ugh. You also have enemies like Octaga dishes. There's Rover Rovers, oh won't you come on overs. <laughs> it's a fun game. <laughs> there's also stationary laser blazers. And new to N++, there's booster pads. Shit. And new to N++, there's booster pads. They're so helpful. There's also the Gooshy Smooshes. <laughs> <laughs> they're so, they're so gooshy. There's co-op mode, which maybe we'll play in a later video on this channel, if this video does pfft, even remotely pfft, well. And there's a race mode, which has a particularly fun option in its, in its menu, which I'll show you right now. The option is called, we suck. And it freezes the timer, just in case you keep dying in the same area over and over again. And now the piece de resistance of N++ is the browse mode, where you can just look up a bunch of, a bunch of incredible, truly tremendous custom levels that have been built by people all over the world. Nope. 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 <laughs> yep! Nope. Well, I did three jumps. I feel good about that one. Excuse me? The world's hardest five by five. Is it even possible? All right. Oh. Oh. They just held in a particular direction. Well, I can do that. Okay. What, what the fuck? Okay, sure. I'm, I mean, I was holding left. Then there's another cool section called Top Weekly. So uh, let's try one of these.
Oh, I like this. This is fun. This feels sneaky. Cool. Cool, I like that one. I didn't, I mean, I didn't even go for any gold, but it was cool. So in conclusion for this extremely comprehensive shit. So if you've been thirsting for some really cool platforming action with like level editors and online tests of skill and all this sort of stuff, especially after seeing all those amazing Mario Maker 2 level uh, videos, then you should check out this game, N++. It's pretty fun and very, very difficult. What on earth? Uh, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I like that it's a big smiley face. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to like it. Uh, feel free to share it with a friend. The bit button is a new channel, so we appreciate all the help we can get. We also have a Patreon. Shout out to our Patreon subscribers, Nathan Kingston and Elias Nickel. If you wanna join them, feel free to join that Patreon. Otherwise, hit subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Oh boy.